Yeah, no, it's definitely been a hot topic. We've had, you know, headline inflation around about 8%. Um, really, the question is how high is inflation going to remain over the next couple of years? Our view in South China is that inflation will gradually decline uh, for the remainder of the year. We might end the year uh, you know, well above, uh, you know, where we are, uh, you know, where we've been over the last decade, perhaps uh, in the context of 45% in core PC. Uh, but then gradually over the next couple of years, we're expecting inflation to, 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 to decline, but still land up well above uh, you know, 2%, which is the uh, Fed's uh, long-term inflation target. I see. But the Fed has really aggressively pouring up the rates, and especially lately. I'm curious, what are your thoughts about the Fed time? Yeah, that's right. So in, re in response to the high inflation environment, they started a rate hiking cycle. Um, They've tightened policy by 150 basis points cumulatively over the last three meetings, and we're priced for another 175 to 200 basis points by the year end. And that'll bring us to around 3.5% of Fed funds. Um, we think that's about right, given everything that we know. As Subhadra mentioned, do expect inflation to start to decline. If, however, it doesn't decline quite as fast, they might have to raise rates even higher than that. But the, the, the market is priced for the cycle to peak at around 3.75 percent of Fed funds. If you look at look about look at the trajectory for growth, uh, and the Fed's been revising its growth forecast for this year. Um, there's no expectation uh, with the in the committee as well as even at South Chen for a recession over the next 12 months. But if the Fed were to raise rates aggressively uh, and get uh, you know policy rates to three and a half four percent by uh, by the end of the cycle, which is sometime in the middle of next year. There's a good chance that we could see a meaningful slowdown in, in, in growth over the next you know, 12 to 18 months. Um, I still think that a recession might be, uh, odds of a recession are low over the next 12 months. But beyond that, there's a, there's a chance and we could see a meaningful slowdown in growth and perhaps even a recession. Yeah, I think um, given how uh, inflation has driven so, risen so rapidly and um, the rapid response by the Fed and other central banks by raising rates, it has caused a lot of volatility, a lot of illiquidity. I do think, however, um, given that the market is much more fairly priced and market participants have come around to the idea that rates are going to go a lot higher, we're starting to see an acceptance of that. And I think volatility will, will subside over the course of the year. Um, another byproduct of that uh, volatility has been markets have been quite illiquid. And that's what's made it challenging. We've seen on any given day, markets can overshoot uh, back and forth. But um, I do think that things will improve once the Fed gets rates to the policy rates to the level that it needs to be. Um, yeah, I mean, our view, um, as Subhadra mentioned, similar view, we think we will avoid a recession, but it's gonna depend how some of these factors play out. I think, um, I think what you're alluding to is confidence. Confidence is quite low right now. And I think that's impacting um, individuals' decisions on spending and things like that. So uh, hopefully markets stabilize, you'll get some confidence coming back in and it won't, drag uh, drag us down into recession. Yeah, no, ultimately it's about the consumer. I mean, consumers have been holding up so, you know, so far, uh, you know, quite well. The question is, as uh, the Fed continues to raise rates and commodity prices keep going higher, uh, it's going to be a pressure on disposable income. So we'll have to see how well the consumer holds up for the remainder of the year. Yeah, I mean, clearly um, inflation is a problem. Every Everyone in America feels it and um, everybody's talking about it and it's, it's, it's leading into um, uh, you know, decisions, individuals' decisions. I think the worry that um, has been out there for quite a bit is stagflation, right? Are we gonna have a situation where you have really high inflation and growth comes off sharply and that's kind of the worst of both worlds. And I think that's, that fear has led into some of the market reactions that we've seen with equity markets coming off and other risky assets.